Established on the 22nd of March 1933, Dachau was the earliest concentration camps erected by the Nazi regime, and it remained operational the longest. Originally, its purpose was to detain those who opposed Hitler's regime, including communists, social democrats, and various other political dissenters. Situated northeast of Dachau's medieval town, roughly 16 kilometers northwest of Munich in Bavaria, southern Germany, the camp occupied the site of a defunct munitions factory. Under Heinrich Himmler's directives, Dachau's function expanded beyond holding political prisoners to encompass forced labor and the detainment of Jews, Romani people, criminals from Germany and Austria, and individuals from nations occupied or invaded by Germany. The camp's network eventually spanned nearly 100 subcamps across southern Germany and Austria, primarily serving as labor camps. Inmates endured harsh and inhumane conditions, living in perpetual fear of brutal punishments, such as confinement in standing cells, lashings, and prolonged periods of being forced to stand at attention, among others. Official records account for 32,000 deaths within the camp, with additional thousands likely unrecorded. At liberation, roughly one-third of the camp's 30,000 prisoners were stricken with illness. Dachau set the standard for subsequent Nazi concentration camps, representing a grim blueprint that would be replicated across Germany. Communities across the nation experienced the anguish of having their members forcibly taken to such camps, a fact regularly echoed in the press through announcements of the removal of the Reich's enemies to concentration camps. A sombre rhyme circulated as early as 1935, reflecting the fear of ending up in Dachau. Dear Lord God, make me mute so to Dachau I don't commute. The architectural and operational framework of Dachau, crafted by Commandant Theodor Eicher, served as a template for all future camps. Eicher established a meticulously organized camp near the headquarters, inclusive of residential, administrative and military areas, and later oversaw the standardization of this model across the concentration camp system. Spanning five acres, the prisoner area of Dachau was dwarfed by the adjacent SS training zone, which included barracks, workshops, and other facilities across an expanse of roughly 20 acres. The infamous Arbiet Macht Free sign, meaning work shall set you free, greeted inmates at its entrance, a phrase also found in other camps like Theresienstadt and Auschwitz. Operating from its inception in March 1933 until April 1945, Dachau's duration as a concentration camp covered the entirety of the Nazi era. Its proximity to Munich, the Nazi power hub, rendered it a pivotal location. Initially, its inmates were predominantly political detainees from Germany, including dissenting Catholic priests. The events of Kristallnacht, the Nazi regime-coordinated wave of anti-Semitic violence, significantly swelled its Jewish inmate population, with more than 10,000 Jewish men detained post the pogrom. The scope of internment broadened as Germany expanded its territorial conquests, leading to a diverse prison population drawn from across occupied Europe, including French, Poles, and people from the Balkans, Czechs, Yugoslavs. And in 1942, following Operation Barbarossa Russians, prisoners were divided into categories and forced to wear a badge to denote their crime. Political prisoners who had been arrested by the Gestapo wore a red badge. Professional criminals sent by the criminal courts wore a green badge. Prisoners arrested by the criminal polizei, who often targeted Jewish and Roma peoples, wore a brown badge, so-called workshy and a social. People sent by the welfare authorities wore a black badge. Jehovah's Witnesses wore a violet badge. Homosexuals wore a pink badge. Emigrants arrested by the Gestapo wore a blue badge. Race polluters, those who broke the law for the protection of German blood and German honour, by marrying a Jew wore badges with a black outline. Second offenders arrested by the Gestapo wore a bar matching the colour of their badge. Those interred due to be classed as idiots wore a white armband with the label blood, meaning stupid. Romani wore a black triangle and Jews wore a yellow badge. Disease, malnutrition and the subsequent typhus epidemic claimed over 15,000 lives in late 1944, compounded by fatalities during evacuation and death marches as the conflict drew to a close. Despite the liberation efforts, the aftermath saw continued mortality among survivors due to the severe deprivation they endured. Following World War II, Dachau was repurposed to detain SS soldiers awaiting trial. 
Post-1948, it housed ethnic Germans expelled from Eastern Europe pending resettlement and served temporarily as a U.S. military base. The facility was officially closed in 1960. Today, Dachau's memorial site, featuring various religious memorials, is accessible to the public, serving as a somber reminder of the atrocities committed there. Dachau's legacy is encapsulated not only in the grim record of its operation, tallying over 200,000 detainees and nearly 32,000 deaths, but also in its physical remnants, including the crematoria used for the mass disposal of bodies starkly demonstrating the scale of Nazi atrocities.